Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is a path graph? Shouldn't take too long, so let's get into it without delay. We've talked about paths before as being ways of traversing through graphs. So for example, a path in this graph could be going from the vertex 2 to the vertex 3 to 4 to 5 to 7. What we just drew is a path because it's an alternating sequence of vertices and edges that doesn't repeat any vertices and doesn't repeat any edges. It starts at a vertex, and then it passes through an edge, and then it goes to a different vertex, and then it passes through a different edge, and then it arrives at a different vertex, and so on. So again, a path is a way of traversing through a graph repeating no vertices and no edges. But instead of just talking about paths as being ways of traversing through graphs, we can also talk about them as being graphs themselves. And here are the first four path graphs. With only a quick glance at these graphs, you can probably clearly see how they are constructed. So here is the path graph on one vertex. You can see that we denote it P1. Here's the path graph on two vertices, denoted P2, and so on, the subscript of the title refers to the number of vertices in the graph. So P3, for example, has one, two, three vertices. And remember that we call the number of vertices in a graph the order of the graph. So P4 is the path graph with order four. It's got four vertices. So why are these graphs called path graphs? Well, if we go back up to the path that we drew in this previous graph, Imagine if we just looked at this path we drew in isolation. So let's say we erased everything else in the graph. Well then, what are we left with? We're left with a path graph on five vertices. So that's why they're called path graphs, because they have the same structure as the paths that we've previously discussed. And I'll just point out a couple cool things about these path graphs. For all path graphs that have two or more vertices, they will have exactly two vertices with degree one, and if they have any other vertices, those vertices will have degree two. Remember that the degree of a vertex is the number of vertices adjacent to it. So again, every path graph with two or more vertices has exactly two vertices with degree one, often called end vertices, and all of its other vertices, if it has any, have degree two. Too, as you can see in these few examples. Now, one last thing before we go, let's try to describe these path graphs a little bit more formally. Remember that every graph has a vertex set and an edge set, and the edge set of a graph looks like this. It's a set, of course, and it contains edges. The edges of a graph look like this. They are sets that contain adjacent vertices. So, for example, if this was the edge set of a graph, that would mean that v1 and v2 are adjacent in this graph, and v2 and v3 are adjacent in this graph. Now, here's a graph that has this edge set. We see that v1 and v2 are adjacent in the graph, and v2 and v3 are adjacent in the graph. So with that in mind, a graph is a path graph if its vertices can be labeled like this, v1, v2, v3, all the way up through vn, such that the edge set of the graph is equal to this, the set containing all sets that contain vi, vi plus 1, where i ranges from 1 all the way up to n minus 1. So this just means that a graph is a path graph if its vertices can be labeled v1 through vn, such that v1 is adjacent to v2, v2 is adjacent to v3, v3 is adjacent to v4, and so on, all the way up to vn. The reason i only goes up to n minus 1 is that if i went all the way up to n, that would mean that vn is adjacent to vn plus 1, but vn plus 1 is not a vertex in the graph. And to try to make this even more clear, let's try labeling the vertices in P4 up here. Let me just erase these marks. So we're going to label the vertices of P4. So notice we can label the vertices v1, v2, v3, v4, such that the edges go from v1 to v2, from v2 to v3, and from v3 to v4. And so we know that it is indeed a path graph. 
But that's where we'll leave it for now, so I hope this video helped you understand what path graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Just come.